What's going on, y'all? I'm back home from PAX East. For those of you who don't know, it's a major gaming convention where like indie small studios and sometimes even larger ones like I saw Nintendo there uh, show up and they kind of showcase their games, spread that word of mouth, get player feedback and just build connections with the player base. And it's an awesome experience. There's a lot more than just that. Uh, but that's kind of that's the meat and potatoes of it, in my opinion. And uh, so I got back and today I want to talk about Mage Quit. And now I will say before I get started, I'm going to have a playlist on my profile where I go through and talk about all these games. Um, but nonetheless, Mage Quit seems like a really cool game. Uh, I think it'll be great for communities. You can have up to 10 players and you can mix in uh, bots if you don't have enough for a full 10. You can play it on Xbox, you can play on PC and you can play on Switch. Um, <clears throat> There's cross play between all of that as well. And I thought that was really cool. You can also do couch co-op is what it's called, where you can have like a buddy playing with you at your place. And then if you want to go online, you can go online with your buddy and still play up to 10 people. It's a top down arena fighter game. So like you don't have to worry about split screen because it's just one big screen. So they just have to, you know, you just have to watch your character and they watch theirs. I also want to make a note that this game is out right now. And let's talk about like the combat and stuff. So I told you it's an arena and it's top down and there's 10 people. But the way it works is before you actually go into the first round, they have a spell draft system. So the way that works is and in the first one, I don't believe it's in a particular order. Maybe it's how quickly you ready up. But the it, it, so it starts off from number one through 10. And the first person will pick from a list of spells. And once they take those spells, then they're off the table. And then you have to kind of pick what's left over and then You'll go into the first round, you'll do your best, and then the following round, and every round, as far as I know, has a spell draft. There's up to 70 spells, by the way. So um, the next, so after round one, and this is the format for the rest of the rounds. After each round, the game will assess and say, okay, this person has the least, this person has the most. And the person with the least amount of kills will get to pick from a spell to, uh, you know, beef up their kit a little bit. And then whoever's last will just kind of have to pick what's left and make it work. And that's kind of cool because if you're not so good or maybe you had a bad start, it's just a quick way to kind of rebalance things in your favor. And if you're really good, then you just kind of you have to make it rock with what's left over and just do your best. And it's kind of like, you know, a testament to your skill. Um, as the time progresses, there's different um, there's different abilities you'll unlock. So first round before you even start, you get your primary, which is just whatever button you're going to be spamming. You get a secondary, which is the same. Also, keep in mind, they're all on cooldowns. And then you have like utility spells, which are like things that are like convenient spells that can link into your primary, like maybe use a vine whip and pull somebody into you. And then you hit them with like your melee spell you hit them with an uppercut or whatever. And that's really cool. You have your ultimate spell. You have movement spells. So maybe you want to teleport around the map or maybe you want to do like I picked like a lunge. So what I could do is I would use my uh, my movement spell to lunge into my opponent and then hit them with like an uppercut or something like that. And it was really cool to do that. Um so that's kind of how the, that's the premise of the game, where each round you get your spells and you kind of build your kit as you play. Um, you can try to go for a pure element if the others don't take it. But, you know, it's just you kind of just kind of you build as you play. So it should be unique just about every single time you play. Going over to the maps, there's a variety of maps to choose from. If you on some of them, if you get knocked off the map, it's a GG. You're out of there. Pack up your bags. You're done. Other maps, you can get knocked outside the arena and you'll lose damage over time. Some maps have like hot spot, like danger zones right in the middle or maybe like a river running through that does damage. Some maps have like a creature on the outside that if you're in the water for too long, it'll be like the old school Crash Bandicoot games where like, whoop, you know, hit you with that bidet action and kind of get you from behind. You have that type of stuff as well. So like hazards and whatnot. And then... At the very end of a session, or maybe not a session, but like at the end of like a like a, I, it's because it's round based. So I don't want to say. I guess at the end of a game, at the end of the game, if you and somebody tie for kills, well, then it'll trigger a showdown, where it's you versus that person to see who's going to take the top spot, and that's really cool. So I have my eyes on this game. I'm looking forward to playing it this Friday, which, of course, if you want to check it out yourself, you're more than welcome to. I'll be playing it Friday. I'll be giving out codes for it or not codes, but I'll be giving out like gift cards, which you can buy it if you want to on Thursday. If you want to come through and check that out, I stream every night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sorry, I had to sneeze. I had to edit right there. Uh, I think this is going to be a really cool game to play. I it feels satisfying to get kills. Graphics are, are pretty appealing. It kind of gives me like this Lego vibe to it, but it's not full blown Lego. Maybe it's a little more blocky, but it still looks cool. The moves look cool when they come out and. And it's just fun gunning after somebody if you have beef with them or teaming up or just kind of coming out on top. Sometimes I was playing the game and I had multiple people fighting me and I still managed to come out and win. 
Um, it's a cool game. You definitely have to be thoughtful about your moves. You can't just keep spamming everything. Uh, if you miss like your melee attacks, your character falls over, leaving you wide open and stuff like that. Um, so I think it's just a cool, pretty straightforward game. You can do teams as well. Um, I think it'll be fun. Um, you just got to give it a try. Let me know what you think. Comment if you liked the explanation of the game. Follow if you want to see more of this and stay safe out there. Peace.